well as well. It is Christmas Eve. Uh, we have so much to do, um, but so little at the same time. We are really ready to go. Um, we are done all the table setting. It's not fully done, but it's more organized than anything. The table setting, um, I'm just looking behind me, um, behind the screen. I've got like the place where we're gonna do like a punch bowl. Um, the meat's all ready. I took, so what I've done is I've taken the um, covering off the, the pork and letting that skin, and also I've got some extra crackling. I'm, I'm just letting it dry out in the um, refrigerator overnight. Um, and that will create a really, really nice crusty um, skin because uh, so the, um, refri the fridge or the refrigerator dries it out so that really um, takes out all of the moisture so then it goes extra crunchy. Um, and we've got tiramisu, we've got trifle and apple crumble to make today or uh, tonight. Um, and then Xena I haven't really eaten anything all day because he's been at work and I've been busy and I haven't had any time. So we're just gonna have to find something for us to eat as well. But before we go into tonight's room, let's go back to last time on. We'll show you what we cooked up. This was our part one. So we did some uh, orange shortbread for our love, uh, April Sweet Four, because uh, she redeemed a, an ingredient which was oranges. And to tie it into the Christmas theme, um, I made orange shortbread, or they turned out more like sugar cookies. Um, they're very crunchy. I'm a little bit concerned about them because they're really crunchy. I, I think I read the recipe wrong and I think that there was a typo um, and then I added too much sugar. So it's more like a sugar cookie than a shortbread. Um, but they still taste nice. So I've just portioned them up into little um, contained like little bags and I've given them to my um, So they put them in, they're little, like actually little tiny ones. So there's a uh, heart, there is little uh, flowers and also some stars. We also did potato bake that you can see. So that's full of like a really rich bechamel garlic sauce. Then you also have um, bacon and spring onions in there with the um, with the potato. And then we did potato bake, uh, sorry, cauliflower cheese, very similar. And then the seed crackers as well that they're going um, as a gift for a family. Um, and also to go with our cheese platter tomorrow. So it was a lovely stream yesterday. We had 12 beautiful people in our community. Um, we are so close, so, 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 so close to 3K. Um, we also had two people resubbed to Molitopia and a new a newbie in Molitopia as well, so that's our sub on that. Uh, we also received 500 beautiful bits uh, that's going back into helping us um, new and improved for 2019 for our stream. Um, always uh, the community support is so appreciated and then also lovely five posts as well. So we really appreciate you guys supporting us going from one year to the next. We're moving into 2019 soon. Next week! How crazy is that? Oh wow. Alright, bring out that chat and see. Hello, let's go Molly. Limping Lemon! Did I just see Lemon in chat? Um, hey Ash. Just humble cook. Welcome. Thank you for that follow. How are you doing? Uh, why Vanessa? E M R C. What? Um, Ash, Brayden, Melissa. Welcome back. Um, my mum got invited to my aunt's place for breakfast tomorrow, but said nothing to me. But when we asked about it, she said, "I thought you'd come as a pair." Oh, that's um, so I said the hilarious witty come back to my mum. I didn't know I was a costume. Um, then I went to the fridge, got a pear, and left it out in the front door with a note that said, I'm here for breakfast. <laughs> um, oh, e, yeah, E-M-R-C. Exceed, Molly, Romeo, Chester. Um, so, I, you know how I told you that I went and bought the Chester, um, because Chester was arrived like last year. So I bought the C. I didn't realize when I got home that we had red. Everyone else is red. So I saw the red C the other day and I thought, I better not spend another $10 on um, making the match. So I get trouble. Um, Linko Pachinko, are you frozen? My mum sent five messages that said, knock. I'm eating a bologna sandwich. A bologna? 
bologna sandwich, hey? Dad, how you doing? Welcome back. Time to Google a bologna sandwich. It's a, I like, um, exceed it's bologna, like poloni. We call it poloni here. Um, do you eat it with ketchup? Because I, my brothers used to eat it when I was young, and I don't think I've, I don't remember eating it. I think it's gross. Um, but poloni and tomato sauce. Oh, Brayden, don't get me jealous. Right now it is super warm and hopefully it's going to be, it's, it's actually not too bad compared to like two days ago. It's still warm outside, but there's a nice breeze and so we can be outside. I was actually scared that it will be too hot tomorrow and everyone would be dying, but it's not too bad in 16. So it's still, our air conditioner is not working as effectively as we hope. So I don't know if what we can do to kind of make it freezing. But I suppose tomorrow no one will be in the bedroom or the, the offices so we can just blast it in the living area and that'll be super cold. Happy Christmas Eve, Ariella, welcome back. Mayo, mayo and bologna, thank you. Bina, good morning, perfect for breakfast today. Oh, you see. Um, so, Exceed, I thought we could get our breakfast ready for tomorrow because uh, my little tradition thing that my my parents and my brothers and I do uh, for Christmas every year is every morning, Christmas morning we eat uh, croissants, um, usually with like ham and cheese or I like it with marmalade. Um, I think, uh, Exceed just said, I think our uh, week, next stream will throw everyone out of schedule, a weekday morning stream, yeah. So we're hoping to stream around 9 o'clock. Um, tomorrow morning because it's 16th birth. No, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's it's Christmas Day tomorrow, and then the day after is 16th birthday. I'm getting confused. It's not it's not Christmas Day now. I'm getting confused. Thing. You're confusing me. Um, important day of Christmas in Germany with feast and unboxing in the evening, so I don't have to work. Oh, beautiful. Let's so, let's show Ariella's feast. Yes, please do. We love when you guys post things in the Discord, and we love to show you guys off for the amazing food that you're cooking. So it's going to pop it up on the screen. Look at this, Ariella. You've done yourself proud. That is fantastic. So I'm guessing that sweet potato and pumpkin at the bottom. You got potato bake, cauliflower cheese. What is that thing in the middle? I didn't really know what that was. And then you've got, is that roast meat? So it looks like roast lamb. I don't know, roast lamb or roast chicken? It's really good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, look at all that cheesy goodness. Oh, you're making me hungry. I'm probably going to eat toast for dinner. Let's be honest. We're hoping, um, so today's stream will probably go for like, you know, maybe three hours. And then I'm hoping be able to watch um, Love Action before Although my aunt has murdered me, eaten me and fed me to the rest of the time. What? What? Uh, is everyone excited for... It's slightly of a parent. Okay, thank you, Brendan. Um, are you guys getting excited for Christmas? So I realized I am such a dilly. Guys, I just realized today. Well, no, it was last night because Xena and I were talking about presents and in bed, like discussing like um, that he said one of his presents hadn't arrived and it was a small one from me. Um, the present from me hadn't arrived. And then I was like, oh my God. And then I totally forgot that his big present, like I wrapped all his presents and I thought that that's all I got him. And I was thinking and it wasn't enough his big present hasn't arrived yet. And I totally forgot about it because it's from the US. So it's obviously not gonna arrive tomorrow, but it's the thing that you know you guys helped me out with. You know, the things that we helped, you know, you helped me do, um, that we had in the, the no exceed zone. So that hasn't arrived, but he goes, oh, now we're even because um, my present has arrived and your present have, hasn't arrived. And I said, exceed. This is your big present. He goes, oh, yours was only the little one. But he's got enough presents to keep himself happy. 
Um, well, I hope you have an amazing Christmas. Work sucks the joy out of me. Oh, Daz, that's. I'm happy that you're here and hopefully we can make it a little bit more joy, joyful today. Um, is that a normal thing for work to do that? I won't let it ruin another Christmas. What do you mean? Um, work to do that for being, like, do you mean for being, I don't understand what you mean. For work to do that. Oh, you mean, you mean that is it normal for work to suck the joy out of your life? Mm. You, you, my personal opinion is you shouldn't let anything suck your joy. And if something's sucking your joy, you should move on. But if, like, that's not possible in a lot of ways. Um, you know, if something's not, if not helping you and like, keeping you positive and happy and you know joyful then it's time to pivot but at the same time there's nothing ever like a job is never gonna 100% of the time keep you happy so you gotta you're gonna keep each other on my family devoured that eggnog cheesecake I made for dessert today oh my gosh not a single crumb left it's exciting I find this time of year in a uh, year depressing myself it's I, I was thinking about it actually yesterday on stream it popped into my head that we we put so much effort into one day and then it's very anticlimactic on the, like the day after or that evening and it's very emotional just like Exceed said um, and you know there's always a lot going on and me personally my favorite day of the year is Christmas Eve like I find Christmas Eve a lot more relaxing a lot more fun Usually, I like today's a little bit different because it's at our house, but you, there's just, you're, it's like calm before the storm, if you get what I mean. And for for a lot of people, including myself, while it, it's lovely to be with family, family is also a, to a degree, a, a, a it can, they can be good and they can be stressful as well. They can stress you out and give you anxiety. Um, and my family are lovely, but they're just like everybody else. You know, they're they're sometimes they're nerve wracking and they they say things and I, you know, they, they like make me frustrated. But they're also a source of love. And for some people, they you know, and some of you in chat, you know, that sometimes. You guys don't have the, the the joy part. You just have the frustrated part, and that's that's fair enough, you know. But it's just because someone is in your life and they're blood related doesn't mean that you need to get along. And you know, and that I think that the hallmark kind of event of Christmas says that you need to get along with your family and you need to get whatever. But sometimes for a lot of people, their friends are they are closer than their family, and I think it's important that you find someone that you know, that you can, um, that gives you joy and gives you love. And it doesn't necessarily need to, you know, be around this season and, um, hey Sammy, how you doing? Um, I was really depressed last Christmas because of work and I tried so hard to enjoy Christmas but I barely smiled. It's my favourite time of the year. Oh, Daz. Well, Daz, you know, we'll be streaming, um, all, like every, the next two days. And then as much as we can, we may not be cooking, but we'll be hanging out, maybe some games and things like that. So if you guys, Daz and everybody in chat, you know, you guys can come and hang out with us. Tell us, vent with your frustrations, with your family, um, and we can just have some happy times together. And, you know, just get out of the, the reality of your, you know, if you want to just switch off, come into the stream, come and hang out with us. Because you guys are more than welcome to come and like chat to us and let us know what's happening. Um, you know, our kitchen, our, our home is always open to you guys through Twitch. Uh, did you tell your mum about chat? Yes, I did. I did tell Mama Molly. So, uh, she said, when do you want me? I'll, um, no, because actually, it, I put the message in our family chat. And my brother said, how much do you charge? Um, how much is your, your going rate? And I said, no, 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 no. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll you, the, uh, your payment is through exposure. <laughs> And he goes, touche. Um, but mum said that um, t 
to let her know she'll make time between her busy schedule, her work commitments and holidaying to, to come on the stream. And she just let me know and I said we'll talk about it tomorrow. So she'll be on. I'll, I'll convince her. Um, I usually end up hiding in another room after the dinner because my aunt is really religious and that doesn't ever quite mix well with me. So I know that feeling of not getting along with family. And yeah, I get that completely as well. And you know, people have their opinions and everybody is of course um, able to have their opinion. But sometimes, you know, when conflicting you know, opinions or whatever, it, that is, causes the tension. Sometimes for me, it's, it's easier uh, and it's better, you know, in the long run to just, you know, nod your head and understand where that person's coming from and where they get that, uh, um, where they get that opinion and not take it on board. You know, just let that opinion, you know, hear it and go, okay, yep. But then not, for me, like I'm one of those people that will snap back or clap back or, you know, whatever. And my family love that. They love my, uh, everybody feeds in my family. They feed off, you know, um, someone like they'll get into them. And it, it's, it's usually like more of a humor part of it. But if you, if they see that little bit of like frustration, they'll like, They'll go at you harder. So uh, I've just learned, and I'm getting better every day, to not let that, like, you know, when I feel that anger or frustration bubbling up, that I just smile and I just let it go. <laughs> Sometimes I walk away and do something else. Fun Ducker, welcome. Fun Ducker, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, because it does get frustrating, especially when people want to want to argue or they, rather than have a conversation about it, they want to argue. And everybody's have, like able to have their opinion, but it just you just need to learn how to diffuse it and just be like, yep, yeah, okay, cool. Just not take on that, take on that shit. Just be like Teflon, just let it slide off. Pre subnautica. Um, when was she on stream last? Um, this time last year, because uh, oh, it was maybe a week. It was early early December because Mum Mama Molly and her partner Paul came over to Victoria. And we had like an early Christmas together. She was on stream. Chester was only, I think, he was in our house for maybe a few days. And then she came over. Sammy, thank you for that host. And also, Fawaz. Fawaz, thank you for that follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She used to travel, so seeing other belief systems made her pretty open minded. Um, at least mine's... Oh, hold on. Um, I'm excited for Christmas. I love seeing my kids' faces. I was we were having this discussion with Mama Molly the other day, and I said, I love Christmas, but it, it, it's it's changed because, you know, we we always had these traditions of things that we did. This is... Wait. Is it? Um... Is this music, Exceed? Two followers off! It's not my birthday. It's Exceed's birthday in two days. Holy shit! Oh god, I only choked. For us, welcome. Thank you for being the 3,000 follower. Hey! What? This is cray cray, guys. Give yourselves a round on, a round on the back. That didn't make sense. Um, give yourself some love, guys. We this, we did this together. This is very exciting. Three amazing, beautiful people in Mollytopia in the Molly community. Oh my gosh! All the couch counting followers, guys. This is this is for us. This is don't congratulate me. This is us as a community, growing, getting stronger. You know, we look how far we've come from a year, from, you know, a year and a half. It's been October. No, hold on. No. How long have we been streaming for, Pixie? A 20 months. It has to be 20 months. Oh my God. 20 months. That's crazy. One year and eight months. Yeah, so that's 20 months. Guys, this is freaking crazy. Happy Christmas, Name Chef. Thank you for stopping in. How have you been? 
3,000 beautiful people in our community, guys. This is all a part of you guys. You guys are sharing the community, sharing the stream, getting involved, chatting, sharing, hosting, subbing, cheering. This is like how long we've uh, like how far we've come in 20 months, a year, over a year and a half. And you know we've moved houses three times. Uh, we've had amazing raids. Uh, you know community goals. Heck in hell, we've got two community goals. Look at this one, this is the latest one. We've had the, the oven cam, now the barbecue, and look how far we've got to go. New things, 2018, 2019, baby, partners. Uh, we're going for that partnership sometime soon. Thank you for the shrimp, Merry Christmas, Lemon. Thank you for stopping in, thank you for that sub. Very much appreciated, we've missed you. Hope we're doing really well. Um, it's been that long, a year and five months. Damn. That barbecue is amazing. And don't you worry, I'll be Instagramming tomorrow as much as I can. I have to remember, I might write it on my hand to show you guys as much as possible about the, you know, I'll show you when in the morning, um, maybe when like I'll show you exceeds present um, and it's probably things for the kitchen for me. Um, our setup. All the family arriving, the barbecue set up, it's coming up so amazing. Zelda! Hello! You know, and that barbecue has been made possible from you guys. And it, it, I, it is, I feel really lucky because I get to be able to use it off stream. But the main purpose is it, to be able to use it on stream. And that's why I want to make sure that every time I use it, I'm Instagramming and I'm showing you guys as part of the community what we're doing with it because I feel like I just want to be able like to turn the stream on outside and be like this is good, this is what we're doing um, and get you guys involved with it so make sure you guys are jumping on the Instagram and uh, searching my uh, stories I'll put um, updates regularly and also a section where I add all of the barbecue stuff um, and I just want to say thank you guys for 3,000 people um, it's, you know, I say to people when they ask me what I do outside of like nursing and I just said that, you know, we started a cooking show because we had nothing else to do when we lived over in Victoria and then it just grew into something bigger than we could have ever imagined and it's continuing to grow and it's because of you phenomenal people that support us, that, uh, you know, give me confidence to be able to, to get in the kitchen every day. Uh, you know, you guys are really great with the seed and play our gaming streams, even though it isn't as, uh, you know, as smooth as our cooking streams, we have a lot of fun together and, you know, it's, it's something that I, I really want to continue to do and, and do full time. Enough for me, let's get cooking. Because I could go on thanking you guys, like, for the whole stream. You guys are really great with the seed, never felt like such a dollar. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I meant to say like, you guys are really good with me and like really supportive of me and also Exceed. And you know, this stream, like now that Exceed said that, this stream wouldn't be possible without him. You know, I had so much nerves and anxiety being able to stream without him the other day when he was away. And there's no way, I, I could do it. Definitely I could do a cooking stream without him, but it just wouldn't be as flawless and it wouldn't be as perfect as it is with the, with him here. And he's always, you know, he's the man behind the scenes and that's why I say it because he's the person that does all the shit that I can't do. And yes, we work together, but you know, we wouldn't have a green screen. We wouldn't have all of this if it wasn't his knowledge of Photoshop and Premiere and you know, all of this stuff that he does. He is, you know, you guys see me, but he does so much more than me behind the scenes. We love you, Oxy. Well played. I'm drinking this Coke, Coke no sugar, and it's really bad. It just tastes so boring. I don't know if it's like, it just needs to be colder. Okay. these in rip your ears there's a strip strip we get to 3k ah 
So I um, remember our magic mushroom, Molly's magic mushroom um, spice mix that we made a few months ago, uh, a few weeks ago. We got three go. What? And he answers you on Facebook. Thank you, Exceed. Hey. Exceed, you need your own page so that you can comment on people. Exactly 3K, yep. Oh, you didn't reply to it after I replied to it? What do you mean? Melissa, I replied to you, but I didn't know. Did he as well? Uh, wish I found this stream earlier. Thank you for being so welcome, Ariella. That's that's very sweet. Molly didn't do it. I did it. I did. I did it. I did reply to you and I said, you know, hope Santa comes early. That was me. That was me. <laughs> wow, didn't sound genuine then. I didn't sound genuine. How? I didn't see you type. No, no, I, I did it before stream. Thank you, Ariella. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. It was me. I, I replied to you. Um, it was before stream. No, no, no. Um, Merry Christmas. Thank you for um, taking the effort to reply on to Facebook. Um, and comment on the photo. Um, I I think I did it. Yeah, just before just before we were sitting. Oh uh, yeah, that was when we were doing the going live post. No, no, don't don't say oops. That's all good. You probably just got the notification now, maybe. Ariella, it's really lovely to have you on stream, and I'm gonna be your red sister. You'll be my blue, and I'll be your, your, I'll be the blue. I'll be the red to your blue. We can be like berries. We tried me doing that sort of thing, but there's a huge desync in what Molly knows what happened and didn't. Yeah, so we we tried um, exceed like going into other people's streams and chatting, like how he does. You know, he talks to other people's. You know, who you guys are streamers who go in and chat to them. But he tried doing it under my name so that people knew it was from our stream. Because a lot of people don't know if Exceed comes into the stream, but they recognize my name. Um, but then he was chatting to them and he'd, he'd say things to them, like, or they would say stuff. And then they'd come into stream and they're like, oh yeah, because I saw you on stream the other day. And I was like, You're in, I was in your stream the other day? Okay, what did I say? Uh, it was really awkward. So now, now I just do it. And then he talks on his account. Cooking mama, hey for him. My tummy is so hungry. So I have these little things here and I wanted to put them in the dishwasher to get the labels off and now they just look terrible. So I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with them. But I wanted to put some spice mix in there for my family, but we'll see. We'll put them aside. Okay, I'm going to have to find what I have in the house to eat because my tummy is real hungry. Three days until my birthday. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, you get Christmas before us. That's no fair. Hey, Rob. Welcome back. Good evening. Okay, what am I going to find to eat? Hey, shortbread. No, Molly, you should need to ring. So, you know how I tell you guys that I bought fruit mince pies the other day and Nixie told me that he, he appreciates it, but uh, it, he would prefer not to get that brand and that I only have to get the, the one with Bundaberg rum. Well, I was at the shops today and I saw them, so I bought. So these are the ones that he loves because they have this this rum in them, Bundaberg rum. So I went in and I bought four. There were two for five dollars, so I bought four packets. And he's like, I'm not gonna eat that many. I was like, you will. Don't worry, you will. He he can eat, sit down and eat six in a sitting, or through a day he'll eat like he eat a whole packet. So I got him four packs. And now I'm back in the good books. 
I don't know. Can I, I don't think I can ever be in the bad books. Can I, Exceed? I was going to buy a huge pack of bean, boo uh, bean boozled for you today for Christmas. Oh my God, for him. Oh my God, I'd die. I bought some Bundaberg rum custard from Coles the other day. Oh, really? Doing good, bruv. Doing good. Getting ready for Christmas. Um, Exceed, can we go to the oven cam? I just want to show the people. The Christmas. Oh, hold on. Ready guys? Can you guys see this? That's the tables getting ready. It's very bright, I apologize. See, no, that's how, as far as I can go. So that's, we've got 14 people, 14, I think 16 to 18, but 14 for lunch, and then two for dessert, and then two more for and then over there is going to be uh, like a cocktail station. And then I'm going to have the food up here. Uh, and everyone can go and help themselves. And then the Christmas tree, outdoor area as well. So there, there's a little behind the scenes for you. See if we'll go to the default, please. Hey, there we go. Molly keeps saying, Bean baboozled, yeah. No, I keep saying bean baboozled. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is big, looking great. This, what's big? The, the, the table's big? Yeah, so we have um, our dining table, and then we also have two, we call them trestle tables, or tr trestle table, I think that's what it's, it's called. They're like fold out tables. So we've got them, and then I went to the store. Holy gosh! Guys, do you know how much tablecloths are? There were 10, the cheap ones that I bought, and they're pretty cheap, they're pretty shitty. Um, uh, they are $10 each. Lucky they were 30% off, so I got them for $7 each. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it was $7 and I bought three. The outdoor tables, I didn't put anything on. So we've got our outdoor table and we've got another trundle table, trestle table, which is an idea. I like a, like I'd like more, but I just couldn't afford seven dollars for a ta tablecloth. I was cl so close, just one like fabric, but I thought that may be more expensive. Um, someone just tried to hack my computer. Oh my goodness! Um, strip. It's much cheaper than um, from Melbourne actually. We pay a lot, uh, a lot less. Um, but it's very, it's very lovely. So, you know, it's, we live a little bit out of the city, so it, we're very lucky. Um, okay, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. So, the big family coming tomorrow, all organized. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna get, I think we'll get prepared for the croissants um, in the morning, oh no, tonight, and then we'll just put them in the, the oven. Is that sound right, Are you happy with that? Ham and cheese, or bacon and cheese, and then also some plain ones. Um, I didn't buy any juice. I just realized I didn't buy any juice. So we've got no juice tomorrow. How about I make, make you an iced coffee? How about that? Um, can anyone tell me what a Big Mac costs in Australia? Hey Google, how much is a Big Mac in Australia? Here's some information for price of a Big Mac in Australia. On the website businessinsider.com, they say, Australia $4.30. Buying a Big Mac in Australia will save you 74 cents over buying one in the United States. Wow! In I... Australia, McDonald's offers a Create Your Taste menu that allows customers to customize their own burgers and sandwiches. Um, so, what we have today, guys, is we're going to be making the trifle. But I'll show you what I've done so far. So I, I did this this morning. So this is the beginning of the truffle. I didn't realize it would be so dark, but it has, it's just jelly. So I have um, strawberry and port wine jelly. It's just a, it's like a, a flavor. I don't even know what port wine is. Um, like I know it's a, a wine, but it's like a, shit. 
it's just a wine flavored but not alcoholic jelly uh, so I've mixed them and then I've also put some um, strawberries some blackberries and raspberries and also some cherries in there and then that's gonna look like that I should have just done strawberry jelly because then you can see through it and then we're gonna layer over we're gonna put some sponge we're gonna do custard no we're gonna do custard sponge cream and then tomorrow I'm gonna dust it and put some oh we're gonna put peaches in there as well oh gosh what are we gonna do I think we'll do custard peaches cream and then dust it with other stuff yeah custard peaches cream so we've got to um, cook and peel and then roast the peaches and then um, make them like nice and soft and then layer um, insert the more you know I don't know if I have that see do I have that on here I used to have it. Uh, I think I used to have a button. Um, people actually eat it. Uh, what's the deal with Vegemite? Is it a thing or is it just a meat? No, Vegemite. Oh, I'm going to make a Vegemite sandwich right now. That will tie me over Vegemite sandwich. understand someone's personality I definitely agree with that case so I like a little bit my mum does way too much one is fine okay must be looking for someone maybe so here we have bread so this is wholemeal bread I we always buy wholemeal just I, I don't ever buy white bread but um, just because I prefer it okay butter and I will definitely put a lot more butter on mine than exceed because he thinks I put too much butter on everything. It just has a, like a little bit. But I like butter and Vegemite together. You need to have a lot of Vegemite and a lot of butter. Like that. Okay. And then you're going to go in with your Vegemite. There's butter and there's a lot of butter and then there's Molly level of butter. Shut up. Okay, so I would add, I would uh, definitely say that I would add more Vegemite because I'm adding cheese because of the creaminess, but you probably only want like that much. If you were eating it on toast, that, that would probably do me. Only a tiny little bit. Oh, no, why am I putting on both sides? Whatever. And exceed likes more than I too. Some people like it all to the edges. My brother's like a psycho like that, that he likes it all the way to the edges. And he doesn't, because I don't really care. And he does it like this, and you have to have all of the sides. Molly, Molly's Paula Dean of Australia, oh gosh. So edgy. I used to slab that shit on like butter for breakfast. Damn. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is get a cheese slicer. 
like this. I always take the top layer off because I always don't, you know, it just oxidizes or whatever. And then you're going to go like this. And depending how much cheese you like, because I do a second layer here. Is that chocolate? So it's Vegemite. It is a salted, um, it very much tastes like, oh, smells definitely like beer. It's a yeast paste. It's very salty. It's very delicious. It's an acquired taste. That's why I was saying only, like if you're starting out, more butter than Vegemite. So the factory in Melbourne where we used to live, uh, you drive past and it smells divine. It smells like beer and like that yeast. It's beautiful. Vegemite and cheese, classic. See? Check these people out. You know they're Aussies when they're coming in and saying classic. What's happening? Welcome back. This is about as technical as I get. We were just saying that I, like, I don't really have much food in the house to eat before Christmas, and I can't be bothered cooking anything special. So it's time me about. We haven't actually eaten anything all day. Exceeds had about four or five um, fruit mince pies, and I've been snacking on a little bit of fruit, but I just been go 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 go, and I'm getting a little bit of a headache. So I just need something in my belly. Vegemite and cheese sandwich. Mmm, mmm, yes. This is the real cooking show, guys. I've never seen anyone besides an Aussie eat Vegemite and not blow chunk. What? Oh my god. It's about 6 p.m. It's 5:23 here, and yeah, haven't really. Eaten. I just been busy doing like. Getting stuff ready. I was supposed to make breakfast um, and like make eggs, and then I it just got like I went out and I was busy doing stuff and yeah, didn't get around to it. That's a lot of cheese. It's not really. It's more. It's really thin sliced. See, it's not a lot of cheese. It just looks like a lot of cheese. It's four twenty nine a.m. And then this is how everyone has a different. This is how my mum used to cut it when I was a kid. Like that. And then I always used to eat the triangles, like the corners first. Mm. Oh, yeah. Triangles taste better. Patters. We got each other. Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -mm. She did it again. So many caps in chat. Yeah, I was just doing that just to annoy trip. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Triangle wins. Oh was. Mm hmm definitely butter and let the cheese melt and then the edge is crispy you know what gets better you get egg like two eggs whisk it a little bit of milk dip the um, bread in first and then make like French toast Vegemite and cheese and then make a sandwich oh god mmm I don't know why I don't eat this more often Oh god, Vegemite and cheese is so good. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna have to take this to exceed. Might even make myself a second light round.
these are the like the bags that um, I'm giving all of my family. So each kind of household gets one. And these are some of the gifts they're getting. So I've got some in the freezer. today. Just found them. This one's a bit like my... Alright, you can go in there. So, mm. Mm. Been a bit weird today. Okay. So this is what my family are receiving for Christmas. Homemade Baileys, pate, seed crackers. I'll open them up so you can see. Seed crackers. So these are really good with like aged cheddar and any dip or whatever. They're really good. I know they look gross and I know you'd be like, that's bird seed, but I promise they're delicious. And then these are your, okay, I couldn't find any bags to put them in so I did it in cling wrap. Judge me all you want. Because I'm judging myself. And then also, this is the best bit out of all of it. This and this will go together nicely. This is the new and improved version of the fruit nut log that we made on stream. Look at that. So this is full with honeycomb, homemade honeycomb, um, hazelnuts, almonds, and pecans that have been roasted. We also have in there... Um, uh, chunks of um, homemade orange peel that has been like glazed orange peel. Um, you also have some dates in there, chopped up dates. Just a little peanut butter. So they're just in little like small pieces because they're, it's quite rich. And there's just some butter and everything in there as well, just to keep it solidified. And last time I found that it was a little bit too liquidy because of the butter. So this time I added some cocoa butter. So that keeps it um, more stable at room temperature. So that's what my family's receiving for Christmas. What do you guys think? So you've got homemade Baileys. So this is you're just going to shake. So Baileys Irish cream, pate, crackers, shortbread, and this. Mm -mm. Busy chaos. Are you taking some time out for Christmas and New Year? Mm -hmm. Stop eating candy canes solely for the fact that either broke a tooth or it got stuck in a tooth. Oh gosh. The stockings contain a portal to another dimension that is something all stockings have. Most standard delivers the gifts. Uh huh. He had me at Bailey's, yes. I'm your long lost brother. Have you got one for me? I've made six. So hopefully no more family members come. <laughs> I think six will be enough. Mm. Screw this, I'm just happy with a Vegemite sandwich. I'm a happy little Vegemite. Mm. 
I get time off after Boxing Day until the 3rd. Okay. But are you working Christmas Day? Phil? All right, and then I'm just wrapping these with um, baking paper. Because I, I know that they'll just get eaten and then my family will take them home and put them in their own little basket. So I was like, I don't want to spend money on cellophane or anything. Sure am, lucky me, I know, yeah. I am lucky that um, I'm not working as a nurse, um, like since we've moved and everything. I was um, on call for New Year's last year, so we didn't do anything. Um, and I worked, I got, I, see, did I get called in on boxing? Um, I think on, was it the year before? I was working either, no that's it, I was working New Year's Day um, and parts of, like the 27th, 28th I was all working, it sucks, but just think, some time off after Boxing Day New Year, you'll, you'll enjoy it, it just makes it worth it and it's bittersweet. Mm. So these, because it's so hot outside, I'm going to keep the Baileys, the pate, and the chocolate in the fridge or the freezer. Uh, and then as people leave tomorrow, I'll give it to them. I have to remember to give it to them. and then you just peel the skin off. Whatever, we're gonna do it out together. Show me some toes. Now you know. Let's see, how good was that sandwich? Let's be honest, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna leave all this here because I'm gonna make another one. I'm working now. So yeah, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, Zelda. Do you guys mind if I ask what you guys do? I know what Rob does, but Chaos, what are you gonna be doing? Mm, the pay is nice of it. Okay. Part of security. Oh goodness! I suppose they don't stop. Because the something party don't stop. What is that song? Hot water than cold. Okay. Fellow security professional. Oh guys. Oh guys. So I have peaches here, and what we are planning to do. This one, I think. I think I knocked it. So we're gonna. Get some boiling water on the stove here. We're gonna blanch the, um, the peaches in. Then we're gonna put them into a bowl of cold ice water and that should rub the skin off. Um, and then we'll uh, slice them and then we'll roast them in the oven. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the oven on as well. Be misorganized, Molly. And then we'll get into the tiramisu and then the tiramisu then trifle. Okay. The reason I'm doing tiramisu first is because I want to see if I have any leftover sponge fingers because then I'm going to use them as well as the sponge cake. I'm just scoring this. 
so it helps the skin come off. I feel like bouncers don't get a, or an insecurity, don't get enough respect, you know, for the job that they do and they keep people safe. Um, I work in the office at a hospital typing letters and stuff. Ow! Oh, very nice. I need to make sure I take all the stickers off. More bouncer than a nightclub. More bouncer be a nightclub? More just like a big club. Um, so you throw, throw someone out if they get unruly. Oh, I feel a fly on that side. Okay, so we have peaches that are here. I need to get a bowl of cold water. Um, what is this one? Less drunk idiots. Do you ever like... Do people get angry when you refuse them entry with their fake IDs and stuff? Detect, deter, and report. Check doors and lights and watch for trespassers. Okay, that's important. All right, I'm gonna have another, not a whole sandwich, I'm gonna have half a sandwich, just one piece of bread. Guys, I found something that just so good. I put way too much butter in that. I will admit that was too much butter. Oh my gosh, it's so warm in here. exceed four packs but I was thinking of you the whole time because I know that you will have more when they arrive we are making um, some Vegemite and cheese sandwiches right now because I've just fallen back in love with them we haven't eaten all day so I'm just snacking just before we get into the cooking um, on the stove is some water we're gonna cook these peaches and then we're going to put them in some cold water to stop the cooking process and peel off that skin. cheese sandwich. Rob, have you had, Rob, have you had Vegemite yet? Oh, is that a crunchy nut? No! No, I'm sad. I want crunchy nut. Mmm. So for those that don't know, J Mood, I don't understand why we had this, the, the disc sitting out, but J Mood's aunt took his Dark Souls disc and used it as a coaster and wrecked it. So now Jay Mood can't play Dark Souls. To run me over with his car. Zelda, why were people ordering pizza at a nightclub? Crazy. Um, okay, so 
so that there is some hot water. I'm gonna put these peaches in. I don't really care if they they start to cook at all, because I'm gonna roast them in the oven anyway. Put the peaches in, and let them sit there for a few minutes and start to heat up. Oh my god, Romeo, if you I feel like I just cleaned the backyard area and I like swept all of the, the decking because it's like this plastic cheaper decking and because the, the dogs have been peeing because when the dogs moved in everything smells new so they want to mark their territory and so they've been peeing on the side of um, the table legs which pisses me off so I've been clean, like cleaning it all the time and so I if they've done it again on the nice clean deck, I'm gonna be pissed off. But hopefully it doesn't look like they have. Chester! Chess! Chester! The dogs must be outside. No cross for you. Did you hear about Hungry Jacks? Hello, puppy! What happened to Hungry Jacks? Chill Nick, hello, hello, welcome in. Merry Christmas everybody. It is Christmas Eve here down under. We are doing our final prep for Christmas. Um, it's at our house tomorrow. We found our queen. Hey Chill Nick, how are you doing? How was your stream? Thank you for that beautiful raid. Hello everybody, I am Molly. We also have Exceed who's the man behind the scenes. Uh, we are a cooking stream here on Twitch. And um, we do a lot of theme streams, and today, this month is all about Christmas, my favorite time of the year. So we're just cooking some peaches to peel them, and then we're going to do roasted peaches for our trifle. Um, for those that don't know, trifle is a layered dessert, so we've got jelly, and then we're going to do custard, peaches, cream, and then some um, raspberries on top. We're also making tiramisu, um, and then also some apple crumble as well. Um, it's going to be a big delicious stream. Oh gosh, I'm, I just ate two Vegemite cheese sandwiches so I'm a bit full. I'm almost drunk. No chill Nick, what have you been up to? How was your stream? They want to hire interns and pay them four dollars an hour. No, that's ridiculous. Yes, all the pastries. Yes, all the dessert. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. So in here you have peaches, I don't know why this is wonky. I feel like it's... Probably not. But peaches in there. And then we're going to put them in a bowl of cold water. We did our salads today. Oh, nice. I'm going to get up do the salads first thing. And then I'm going to do the meat. I can imagine they're getting a lot of fat wash. It's cray cray. Alright, so I don't know how long I do this for, so I'm going to take one out and see if they're going to start coming off. Supposedly, oh there it is, cool. So I should just be able to do it, up, do it now, yeah, see how they're starting to lift off? Because there's beautiful scores I made. So take your peaches out, so these are fresh peaches. But you can use tin peaches if you wanted to, and just don't worry about roasting them. Because that's what my mum does, and I just wanted to do something different. Because everyone raves about my mum's bloody trifle, so I'm going to try and up her this year with like more gourmet ingredients. But, there we go. So, basically, what you should be able to do is pull this skin off like that, really easy. See, that one I dropped. I didn't know that it came out of the fridge and I dropped it. So you just want to be able to peel it off like that. Go and all that. Yeah, I have to. My family, they're, they're all like a bunch of foodies and my, um, I'm very, I'm a little bit nervous because my uncle and my mum's partner are all into smoking. So I'm hoping to impress them tomorrow with the beef and also the roast pork it's going to be done on the barbecue what do you 
remix in. Oh, what did I say? Oh my god, what did I say? Are you making the cream for the travel? Yeah. Oppa Gangnam Star. Hey! Gangnam Star. Nappy! Merry Christmas! How are you? I've seen you've not been streaming lately. Welcome in. Hello. Um, so we're just peeling peaches right now. Um, Exe, what did I say? Well, you can't... Never beat Mama's cooking. Even Gordon Ramsay lost to a cook. To a cook off with his own mother. No, my mum's not too good at cooking. Let's be honest. The only thing that she can make well is lasagna um, and truffle. But I love her truffle because that's why I'm doing it better. If I did like it, then I'd ask her to make it. I was out of town this weekend. We're back at it tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. So that's Christmas Eve for you, right? Awesome. Um, so we are streaming about the same time because that will be Christmas morning for us. So guys, we are going to get up early. We're going to do our presents and then hopefully we'll stream um, as we get up and get ready um, in the kitchen doing like the preparation of the meat and stuff. So it'll be like a, maybe a, a two hour stream. I'm just hanging out with you guys. Do you enjoy your, your time away, Nappy? At least she didn't mean edibles. What did I say? I wasn't concentrating and some things come out of my mouth and I don't understand, like, it's the wrong thing. So I apologize. What did I say? And you, because Exceed said she means smoking meat. Shit. The most quality thing your mum has made is you, Molly. Oh, menopause. That is the loveliest thing you've ever said. It was a family trip. Hey, that sounds great. So I enjoyed it as much as I could. Mm, family time. He's hit his nice quota for the year. Luckily the year's over, nearly over, and then we can have more happy menopause. Okay, so this is a peach, a peeled peach. It's a naked peach! Look at my peach. My peach is amazing. It, that one's a bit... Look at this one. This one's prettier. This one doesn't have any bruises. Hey, look at that. And so we're going to cut these. You said smoking. Then what did he say? That I said... What? He, I'm so confused now. That is legit so wholesome. Wow. Don't, don't you be fooled. He isn't that wholesome. Often. So that's why I get excited. Um, did I have a night chopping board before? Yeah, I did. Holy dooly, okay. So, peach of yours. Oh, now I've got to, uh, now I have to get the seed out. How do I do that? Without them, because they're so soft. Super soft. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Um, so it's a niche, pretty much. Um, I bet Super Mario would be happy about a naked peach. Oh, you stop, you. Um, and I've got to figure out what I'm going to put them in to roast them. Oh, I'll do a tray. Do a tray. A tray. My leg has been out all day and it's so annoying. Your leg has been out? What do you mean? Like, out of place? I bet he tells all the chefs that. I know. Um, just thinking what I should do. Yeah. We'll do it like this. Oh, we also have to marinate the meat. We also have to marinate the meat before tonight. I'm hoping to be able to watch a Christmas movie tonight. Do you guys know what I'm going to watch? I have already said it, but I just thought I'd check if you guys are paying attention. Exceed thinks it's going to be our new Christmas movie. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to peel this. This is going to be dirty and messy. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, can't do it. Too soft. Shit. I'm just going to have to cut it. Oh, man. That ruins it. You can't have pictures like that. 
Nightmare Before, I've never seen that Nightmare Before Christmas. True story. I don't think I've ever seen a Tim Burton movie. Even though he's from, I see. He's a Perth boy. Love actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you hit your uh, goal for the outdoor barbecue streams. What kind of grill are you using for it? That one. That one. And if you guys are on Insta, make sure you, if you aren't, get on Insta because we'll be doing some smoke and stream, uh, some smoking updates on Insta. So I'm cooking the beef oyster blade. So we're doing pulled beef, and then we're also doing a roast pork. So my crazy mum thinks that we need 500 grams or one pound of meat per person. So she made me buy, so I had beef and um, ham, right? And she's like, nope, you need to get at least two uh, roast, roast porks. And I said, no mum. So I got a roast pork and a roast chicken. And I said, I'm not buying anything else. So it's a smoker. Uh, so two compartments. So one is a grill and one is a smoker. So you, it's, it's called um, a char griller double plate because then we can do both. So tomorrow I'm doing grill, like I'm grilling um, the seafood. So we have crayfish or you guys call it lobster. We're doing lobster on one side and prawns or shrimp shrimp on the barbie and then um on the other side we're doing the roast pork and then the pulled beef so then it, it allows you just to have that functionality of you know not having to wait for your coals to heat up and then you can do multiple things at once and then say for instance um, um say for instance if you don't want the smoky flavor to be imparted like say on seafood, then you don't have to do it and then you just grill it. 300 grams per person for my family this year. Um, 220 per person, okay. Yeah, so I was like, mum, you're like, that's to so wrong. Um, and because what's happening this year is I'm catering and everyone's paying like the, the grocery bill and we're dividing it up between all of us. I don't want to overcharge people for then having leftovers. So um, I said that to my mum and she's like, no, you, you won't have any leftovers. Um, and we kind of had like a little tussle. Um, not a tussle, but we didn't have a fist fight. That didn't happen. No, I didn't fight my mum. Didn't mean to say that. Um, but we had a little back and forwards discussion. So much. And Maori Christmas, so much food, yeah. Yes, I hear the music in the background. That's my jam. Okay. So that is your peaches. I think that will be just enough. Perfect. So then they're gonna go in the oven. I might put some sugar on them actually. Thanks, Exceed, for the shout out. So, Nick, you didn't actually tell me what you were streaming. Um, Asuka. And we can always brew like this at the end. Streaming. Oh, sorry, I was awake in the other room. Um, Disgia? Disgia? I don't know what that is. Alliance of Vengeance. Ooh. Um, but you stream cooking too. Nice. Nice. I'll have to check out your channel. Alright, so that's in there. Alright, travel time. Uh, no, 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 no. Tiramisu time. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Okay, so here I have mascarpone, 
cream. So cream, mascarpone. Whoop, check that out. There we go, eggs. We need to make some espresso up. I'm gonna use Frangelica as well as Kahlua. Big seed, darling. In the um, activity room cupboards, there is an alcohol called Frangelico. Would you be able to get that for me, my sweet? So Kahlua is a coffee, um, a coffee liqueur, and I'm also gonna do Frangelico, which is hazelnut. Two eggs, caster sugar, um, the sugar and some cocoa. Where is the elf hat? Um, where is it? Um, in the activity room. Oh, we call it the photography room. It's like a, a, just one of the spare room. Uh, one of the spare room. I've only ever used um, a clue for drinking because um, tiramisu is traditionally a coffee um, based dessert. Um, we use coffee liqueur just for an extra little bit of a kick and I like to use Frangelico just because the hazelnut flavour is delicious. Okay. My cat is watching the stream. Uh, now we need 250 ml of espresso coffee. So I'm going to use some espresso powder and also some espresso powder with water, boiling water. Thinking, down there for dancing. 
I'm six foot four inches and 365 pounds. I don't think you could drink enough for me. <laughs> six foot four inches. I am five foot five, my friend. I am the shortest one in my family. My mom is six foot. My dad is six foot three. My other brother six foot four, and the other one six foot six. I think that's how it is. All my family are huge. Six foot eight. Six, no, Belgor's six foot eight, I think. Have you guys seen him on stream? He's like towers over me. And we assumed you were taller. You're four eleven, Melissa. Wow, we. Okay, so that is our coffee mixture. And I'm also gonna add in 150 mils of water. Cold water this time. And that's the mixture we're gonna um, dip our sponge in. We also wanna add in there 250 mils, no, of frangelico, no way. That's a lot of frangelico. Angelico and coffee. It's a lot, isn't it? I think I might just do 180 mils. I feel way it's too scary adding all of that. I've added 180. Because the thing is with tiramisu is that you, you taste it and you think, yeah, that's fine. But then once it goes into the the dessert it just like it's so much stronger and then you can't go back mm. yeah I'm, I'm a shorty compared to all my family my cousins are really tall um, I'm only one of two female cousins. Zin, hello. How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to Miss Molly Mix. We're doing part two of our um, stream, our Christmas cooking stream. Okay, so now we're, we're doing our white Russian. So I do with cream or milk or both. I need to get some, um, I really have any vodka. Can I do it with rum? Spiced rum? Would that be any good? Coffee? Spiced rum? That's a little bit. Oh shoot, that's a lot. Um, exceeds, I think exceeds like six foot two. He's quite tall. Alright, I'm gonna halve this concoction that I've just made. All right, so it's a cream or milk? Sure. Zin, how is your stream? Welcome. My brother is seven foot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I have a little bit of spiced rum. Coffee liqueur. Let's, let's go in with no frangelica. I don't know about it with the spice rum, so I'm going to add a little bit of. And then milk. Milk. No one's answering me, so I'm just going to do milk. Um, yes, yeah, so everyone, everyone's taller than me. My grandma is now that she's getting older, she's like shrinking. I think I'm taller than her. Um, but my, my female cousin, her name's Paris, she's probably like this big. She's quite tall. And then all the other cousins are taller. The youngest, the youngest cousin who's 16, he is nearly taller than everybody, other than Belgo. Like I reckon he'll be taller than Belgo. What do you think you said? You reckon Caleb will be taller? Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. 
Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Those milk, um, the big milk containers are fascinating. You can get milk only in one litre. So that's three litres. And we usually go through three litres in a week, exceed nine. Because we use it for cooking and coffees, things like that. Yeah, we go through a lot of, a lot of milk. No, only for cooking, really, yeah. Um, all right, in this bowl, everybody, in this bowl here. Is that better? Feels like it's too top down. I don't really... <coughs> hey, how you doing? Sam, Sam Dean? Welcome. Goo has a sand tracker. Has it been started? Um, because we, oh yeah, suppose it's getting, it's getting on. This morning we woke up and we was like, I wonder if the, the track has started. Super cute. Six litres a week. Sammy, you've got kids. Okay. So here we have eggs. So I'm just going to put, separate two eggs. And we're going to whisk. So you want to make sure you're using fresh eggs and then this is okay. Um, fresh pasteurized eggs, it just means that um, it's been heat treated to kill it, um, more bacteria and you're, then it's okay. The traditional way is using fresh eggs um, and you're not heating. Um, if you are worried about the bacteria eating raw eggs, then you can heat your egg with your mascarpone um, and to kill some of the bacteria and kind of cook your egg. But the friction of the blades and good quality eggs pretty much does whatever it, you know what does what it needs to do. Molly, it's my trivia the um, my trivia time. Okay, Santa's in Russia. Why would Santa be in Russia? Russia's behind us. They're in Europe. Why did, does Russia come? That does. He can come on Christmas Eve in Russia? That makes sense. Russia should first come to... So confused. Because Russia, what more do you need? Hey Google, what's the time in Russia? The time in Moscow, Russia is 1.15 p.m. Yeah. Santa will be in New Zealand first. That's what I was thinking. Why, why would he be in Russia on Christmas Eve in the afternoon? Someone explain to me. I go through nine liters um, of soft drink a week. I love my hyperactive metabolism. Nine liters, J Mood. Eleven fifteen p.m. here on the twenty fourth. Sammy! Have you got all your stuff ready? Are the kids in bed? Have you got ready for the kids? I mean, has Santa getting ready to come? <laughs> okay, in there everybody. I don't like the top down as much. How about this? Sorry. How about that? Better? Is it better or worse? I don't know. I don't know what I feel. Okay, so in here we've got eggs. Uh, two eggs that have been separated. We're gonna do 75 grams of pasta sugar. I'm so excited for Christmas. My, Christ uh, my question passed by. What do Catholic families do with baby Jesus on Christmas? Um, what do they do to baby Jesus on Christmas? They take him out of the main, no, they put him in the manger, don't they? Hey Google, what do Catholic families do with baby Jesus on Christmas? I don't understand. I said it before stream. I don't see chat before stream, sorry. 
Sorry. Fog doctors. Uh, Santa was delivered 4,000 presents at the moment. How? 40,000 presents, but how? It's Christmas Eve. No one, nowhere, it's Christmas Day yet. I don't understand. He's in Provodnya, Russia. That's pretty much the opposite side of Russian than Moscow. It's 10, 16 p.m. there. Still. How is it 10, 16 p.m. there? Then the Northern Hemisphere above us. This is where I want to go to Molytopia and we can track him. Yeah, you're correct. You get them bits. Yes. See, I know my, I know my um, religion. Thank you very much, Kat. Okay, so here, I need to go on my mixer. Christmas is actually pagan, primarily from Hellenist and Nordic religions. Okay. Oh, guys. Did I say? Do you remember this? Do you guys remember how this broke? I don't know if I like this. Hold on. Hey, that's better. Look at that. Molly's a, Molly, oh, it's amazing. Look, do you guys know what happened to this? Who, who paid attention to Instagram and can tell me what happened? What happened today in regards to this? Who knows what happened? 200 molly dollars if someone paid attention to, to, um, to my snap, um, to my Instagram. I remember it broke, exceed broke it. <laughs> exceed and broke it, but yeah. Does anyone remember what else? Anything else from Instagram? Um, here you get presents on Christmas Eve without Santa. The Holy Child brings the presents. Oh, okay. Afro Rob, Molly Dollars coming your way. Exceed called the place and got a new one. It did break, it did break. And so I got it as a present from Exceed four years ago. That's how long Kitty's been around. It was our first Christmas. Exceed bought me a KitchenAid. Isn't that an amazing gift to give someone the first Christmas? You don't know if they'll be around for much longer. He got me a freaking KitchenAid. Guys, I cried my little heart out. I sat, on the, I sat on the carpet and I cried. Like, ugly cried. Like, a lot of tears cried. He got me a KitchenAid. And so this broke. And so I said to him, like, maybe it's under warranty. And he didn't know where he bought it from. So I said, maybe... Um, Google the um, like Google the place where you need the near where you used to work. Ring them, and then he um, rang them. They rang KitchenAid, and I got a brand new one. Brand new one. She said I can't whip anything that's too hard. But um, KitchenAid for Christmas. Exceed was mixing things up that year. Hey, Mino. I was not about to say that strip. You get your mind out of the gutter. I do not swear. I don't, I don't talk with that language. Yes, so exceed, can we give um, Rob 400 molly dollars, please? For paying attention. He wanted you to cook, <laughs> probably. But look, they're, I reckon they're a little bit, I don't know if I bent this one, out, hold on. Bent this one, but see there's like a size difference. I feel like I bent that one out of shape. But it did used to scratch the side. Maybe this one's like new and improved. Exceed, did you give them the right model number? By any chance? 200 molly dollars. Oh, did I say 200? Okay. Rob, I said 200, then I said 400. So it's 200. Looks like a newer model. Yeah, well, this one's been through the dishwasher. You've got to remember that. The base is different. No, it's just... It's the same. It's just this one's newer. And this one has been through the dishwasher and ruined. All right, let's go to the stove because I can smell something burning in the oven. So these are nice and cooked. I just want them to, yeah, nice and soft so that you can eat them with a spoon. So we let them sit and cool. I think I'm going to flambe them a bit. No, brulee. 
Sugar. Oh, this is, I've got to be careful because I don't want to burn the um, baking paper. You put this through the grill if you didn't have one of these tools. Another amazing piece of equipment that Steve gave me. working like I wanted it to work. Whatever. Just go and cool down. Cool down little peaches. I feel like putting a blowtorch to parchment paper isn't a good idea. Shh. Use all the sugar. Strip. You Don't you come round here, come round here, come round here with that that logic. Guys, we don't use logic, we use emotion. I would have points for a third room. See, this is what happens when you pay attention to the Insta. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start asking you questions about things that I put on Insta. You guys gotta start paying attention. All right, it's super hot in here. Molly's sweating, 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 sweating. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump up the gem. We're gonna do a quick Miss Molly mix. We're gonna blend up these Beautiful egg yolks with the sugar. We're gonna add in the mascarpone. So I've got how much here? 250, so we need 500 grams. We need two of these. We're gonna mix them in there, okay? Um, Molly, how did me and Ash meet? Minecraft. Um, what's with the kettle? Shut up. Stop. Making fun of my old janky kitchen and my it's a sunbeam mixer, okay? It's not a kettle. I'll have to buy a new one now. I'll have to save up for my Christmas money. Buy a, a, a fancy mixer that's not a kettle. You guys always make fun of my, my mixer. We don't use logic or emotion, we use exceed. Yes, Mrs. Marley. Be more specific, please. Took Molly a second to realize what I meant. What do you mean? Yeah, I did. I was like, kettle? What are you talking about? The kettle's over there. But now I know what you mean. Yeah. I think I have the same mixer. Rob, it's a great mixer. I'm scared of putting my fingers in. I don't like touching it when it's like plugged in and turned on because I always have a feeling that my fingers will get jammed in there and I'll rip my fingers off. It, my mum always told me not, uh, that's... You know when you, your parents tell you things when you're kids and you like... They put the fear of God in you about certain things. My mum always said I shouldn't touch the beaters when um, the mixers turn on because my fingers will get stuck in there and they'll rip my fingers off. That's janky. Um, puts up my five dollar mixer to shame. Target mix is amazing though. Um, I have a, a Target um, waffle press. It's the best. It's so good. It was five dollars. Uh, it was. Like maybe twenty dollars, and then I got it for like three, because it was like part of it was broken. 
Cat! 20 molly dollar, 20, uh, 20 bits and you, Forum gifted a sub to the Joker. The Joker, welcome to Miss Molly Mex. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Welcome to Mollytopia, our sub world. Sub worlds. Um, okay. Looks like a robot from Doctor Who must exterminate. I don't know what that means. Um, I wanted to put hashtag charity. Oh, sorry, cat. I have a Sunbeam for uh, 87 that I still use. Yeah, this is Sunbeam. Um, and this has to be at least six years old. Six to eight, six to seven years old. Warhead time, not yet. One more. Nope. Sub what? Shit. All right, we're going to do a quick Miss Molly mix first up. in my um, mascarpone. I'm not a fan of this Myers ad. Um, Jame Root, I, I can understand that you may not be a fan of it, but it's something that we're really proud of. And so if you, if you don't like it, I understand, but please be aware that it's something that we work really hard on and that we really, we really love. Much better than the elevator music. So the, the starting soon music that you would have heard, um, and also the the tune for the um, the mixing as well. Um, Cat, I'm sorry for not getting back to you. I just been busy cooking. So, um, if you want me to keep playing your your game, please um, please stay and continue. 
We're a tough crowd, you should know this. Yeah, but like, you guys also need to remember that like, we put our heart and soul into this and if you guys don't like anything, like, feel free to PM us if it's like a big issue, but it's, if it's a personal preference, then um, like, just be aware of like, people's feelings. You know? You know? I'm out of place. You don't need to give bits. We can just have fun. You can ask me questions. Like, I ask you questions. Yeah, it, like I can imagine it's very hard to write new music and that's why like there's things that there's some things that we don't exactly love but we don't know what we, we want and it's just that and they like a changing process, you know? Alright, another little mix, uh, mix. So I have in there the egg yolks, a bit of frangelico sugar and now the mascarpone. So I'm going to do a quick mix. chilled, it's relaxed, but they go together. They're just used for a different, like, you know, when we need some energy and some music. It's a toe tapper. I think it's quite catchy. Do, 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 do. I actually, the first time I heard it, I had it in my head the whole day. So I really enjoyed it, that's why. Mino, Mino just tipped $3 with a message. Miss Molly makes incorporated and I worked very hard on this soundtrack. No one better dare put down a kazoo solo. Ah, oh, Mina, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, you beautiful human. Thank you, Mino. That goes back into the kitty to help us improve our streams. Thank you very much. Um, I started tonight off by watching someone compose their own classical piece based on the Midnight Summer Strip. No way! How, how interesting is that? We're talking about music and you already watched something previously. Very cool. Okay. So in here, we're gonna whip these egg whites. Where did I put them, by the way? Where did I put the egg whites? It's catchy, a tad repetitive. It, 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 does, it does get repetitive the longer that I, um, uh, the longer that I whip. So I try not to whip for too long. But I appreciate you guys, um, like your input. We're always, you know, we appreciate you guys um, letting us know what you think in a productive way, like constructive way for the street. Okay, so I'm good whisking egg whites, right? And a way, something that prevents egg whites getting really fluffy and light is any presence of fat. Um, so that may be a little bit of egg yolk. It could be, um, something that has been eaten the bowl previously or on the beaters. So the best way to do it is wipe it out with vinegar. Vinegar is going to break that um, fat up and help clean it. He made a full 30 measure piece for six instruments. Wow. In a little yellow bowl is the egg whites. Oh, look at you. It, it's actually, it is yellow. Okay, so we have two egg whites in there, and I've wiped it all down with vinegar. You rarely mix molly. My opinion is becoming redundant. No, no, no. It makes sense, Jeremy. Um, 
Wow, that's and how long did Zelda? It was that of a process of like multiple streams, or was that just on one stream? Wow. We don't we don't say fat. We say sexy parts. What did I? The sexy parts of the egg, guys. Just make sure if you when you're cracking the egg, make sure the sexy part of the egg, which is the egg yolk, is in another bowl. There are any sexy parts in the egg white. <coughs> Just try and remove them with the eggshell because we don't want any sexy parts or any presence of any sexy parts from anything in the bowl. No, purple definitely so fat. Fat. I'm going to hell. So, Sanapi, do you, do you call people thick or do you just call them fat? Like in a more positive way, do you call them thick? Like. Can someone be thick but not fat? Or it's just like if they're not they're not skinny, they're not healthy, then they're fat. What is what is like how does it go? Like it's like everyone in chat, like, is it skinny, healthy? It would it be healthy then fit? Like because you know how you're a bit musclier, then thick, then plump, then fat? How does it go? There's a difference between thick, thick, and fat. Okay. Alright. So what is the difference between thick and thick with a K? Is that like chunky? Big bone. Fit. Right. Uh, what am I doing? I'm putting egg whites in. Yep, mixing. I think thick is supposed to be complementary. Yeah. Okay. You, you, girl, you're thick. You're thick. Thick is more neutral. What do you mean, neutral? So, skinny, thin, average, built. No, I would say muscular then built. Because built is like, you, you're strong, like you're a big bitch, like kind of thing. Like you, you're big, you like too big. Like if you, you were built, you like built like a shipwreck house. That's what they say in Australia. Like you, you like, you built. Like you, the girl that does this. We're talking about women, aren't we? But like I think I think muscular and like toned or like fit is is quite attractive. Like someone that has that muscular definition, and you tell that they work out, I, I, I like I think that's quite attractive. Whereas like manly, like type of like you know quite large, it, it, yeah. No no no, muscular is like all muscles. Built is like athletic. Mm, mm, See, so I would go I would go average. Muscular, like they've got a bit of definition. Built is like big, like big muscles. And then, then you've got thick, thick, fat, and obese. <laughs> Better than a skinny mini. Um, yeah, a skinny mini. So do you know, like I fam in my family, a mini is like a vagina. That's I, I don't know why. My aunties always called it like a mini. I don't even, I think, it, I don't know if it was because of Mickey and Minnie, I don't know, but when you see, a skinny mini is like a skinny person, but my, like, to my family, a mini is, yeah, a, like a, a V, like a, yeah. There's no such thing as big boned, there isn't. Some people have more dense bones than others, but they have and a different like proportion of like um, some have like wider hips and things like that. That is definitely true, um, but there's no such thing as big boned. The aquarium wrote on Twitter, "Abby is a thick girl. What an absolute unit. She chonk. What is the aquarium? This aquarium saying this for? Look at the size of this lady. Oh lord, she coming. And people got offended by it, and they ended up deleting the tweet. Why is an aquarium making that comment? Okay, bean pole, yeah, like a bean pole, like a like yeah, skin like a bean pole. I agree. Thick is complementary. Thick is an in between between thick and fat. Okay, so it's like chunky, or rather, thick is more neutral, I guess. Okay, it's Christmas. Um, cat, I didn't. I I saw your um comment before. I didn't know what that. I didn't understand. Uh, like, I, you give me too hard of questions about like religion and stuff. I understand it's a religious holiday, but I don't know 
about those type of things. Um, we were talking about sea otter named Abby. Abby is a thick girl. Just like Chloe. Did you guys see that thing that I posted in Discord? Um, some vegan, hippie vegan, bloody vegans, I'm just joking, I'm not, I'm not being like offensive to vegans, but there was an Australian, a vegan went in and put all these stickers all over the meat and said like pictures of like uh, cows and said this is Chloe, Chloe was happy until you killed her um, and um, she was like playing in the, the um, playing in the, the paddock until you, you slaughtered her for your food or something like that. It was just ridiculous. And I like went all on Twitter and Reddit. Um, and like all beef is now called Chloe. Baby got back. They made a comment about an otter. Okay. It's all Gucci. Okay. Um, see, I, I used, like when I, pre, pre-puberty, I was always very thin. Like I was like, very, very skinny, very skinny, like a boy skinny. I used to dress like a boy too. Um, and then, then I was like fit. I always think I was fat, but I was like quite fit. And then I like got chunky and then I got really fit again. And then when I started streaming, then I got thick. And now we're getting back to, what do you say, muscular? Not built, I don't wanna be built. Who knows, I don't speak cow. Do I speak whale? I know someone who speaks whale. You can go to Pisham and 42 Way, Wallaby Way, Sydney and see someone that speaks whale. It is so hot. If someone did that at my supermarket, I would look at um, for one with my name on it, like the Coke bottles. You just, just get a kangaroo called Kate. Kate? Kangaroo called Kate. Did you say pre-pub-puby? I said pre-puberty. Pre-pubescent? Someone else said that about vegan tweet. Um, oh, if I don't like a fake one. That's so good. All right, we're gonna do a quick Miss mix. I'm like dying of heat. I feel like I complain. It's either about bugs or it's about heat now. By the way, we don't have many bugs in the house anymore. Love the hair, by the way. Thanks. It's just in a bun. Gracias. It's gonna be red soon. Red hot. Red hot. It's like 32 degrees. Exceed, what is the temperature here? I reckon it's hotter outside. Uh, hotter inside than outside. Uh, do I need to use the oven again? No, I don't. You'll turn it off. It was a bit weird colored because I did some tanning before. All right, let's go chat. luscious red hair guys get around it okay mascarpone mixture like that cheesy I'm gonna add in this egg white this is different to how I usually make it No 
No, do green hair. I'm not doing green hair, guys. I don't want to look like the Joker. It's not green hair. I don't know. They're just... I don't want to look like a Teletubby. A warhead? Is we put cream in this? cream surely you put cream in I feel like don't you put cream in tiramisu I feel like this is making this wrong it doesn't taste right it doesn't taste right the green screen yeah Santa's in New Zealand! Woohoo! Wow. You, you traveled very fast from to go from Russia to New Zealand. Mmm, it just doesn't taste the same. I love this recipe. I want to change it. I'm going to go and Google another recipe. Oh wait, I've got my own recipe. I've got like multiple. I haven't heard the tiramisu I played since Yu-Gi-Oh! Tiramisu. Tiramisu, April last year. No, April this year. No, three egg yolks, caster sugar. Mm, I'm going to add more egg yolk, I think. I'm going to do it. I just feel like it's not rich enough. Miss Eel. There we go. Another egg yolk. I feel like it. I don't know, chat. It just doesn't look right. And this recipe that I made last this year, three, egg, three eggs and 250 grams of mascarpone. Means I'm gonna use another. Did Gordon say it? Here we go, another egg yolk and another egg white. Can't stand coffee. Tiramisu, more like tiramisu. Ew. What do you mean? Coffee's delicious. Coffee is the lifeblood of nurses. It runs through our veins. It keeps us keeping alive, people. All right, another quick Miss Molly mix. I promise I'll be quick on this one. If I can get these beaters to.
rogue, but it's all good. Coffee is gross. I hear coffee is the biggest Stockholm syndrome. Rob, didn't I tell you that? Did I tell you that, Rob? Okay. So, I don't know what I've done, but it doesn't look great. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, I have faith in myself. It just doesn't look like, it looks chunky. I don't know. It's not chunky, but. Oh my God, there's a mini one. Oh God. Doesn't matter. All right. I'll probably only do this one. So now, now. Coffee, uh, tea is the best source of caffeine. So now we go here. And now you dip into here and then to here. All right, so you dip like that. Depending how like soaked you like it. You know, it, with that like Stockholm syndrome thing with coffee, I don't know about it. But I say I like it, but maybe, maybe I'm brainwashed. Maybe I'm one of those few. You know? Those biggies at one for the pot, one for Molly. So these are some. I don't know how to pronounce it, Savrodi biscuits. So they're like lady fingers or sponge fingers. And you just dip them gently and quickly because then you, you want them to keep their shape. So I'll show you how I'm doing it like that. as neat as possible for Molly. And so I'm just gonna feel, so it's still got some texture, which is nice. And then you're gonna go layering like this. I think maybe I didn't whip my egg yolks enough. To be honest, I think that's what it was. The egg yolks and sugar should be whipped for like a, a lot of time. Because usually it's thicker and glossier. Or maybe it's the mascarpone, I'm not sure. That sounds like something a bread wash person would say, yeah. You love coffee too? <laughs> That's good. So one of the people that are coming tomorrow is um, a an English boy that's playing cricket at my cousin's cricket club. So he's been living with them and will live with them uh, for about three months because um, he did the same thing last year. And he was saying that Christmas is always very different for his family because his uncle is vegan. So every year they have a vegan Christmas. And I said, pretty much every Everything that I'm serving will have meat products in it or animal products. And then I said to him, I said, oh, well, I'll make something for you especially just so that you fit at home. And he's like this, you know, 21 year old, um, quite fit boy. And he's like, <laughs> just laughing because I don't think he really cares. Um, full vegan, yeah. A full vegan Christmas. Because the, he, uh, my auntie was saying, she goes, the English. You know, their, their family is too polite that they just eat whatever their the uncle eats. So 
then I would not do that. No way, Jose. And then this is gonna soak up this beautiful mascarpone layer. I think I can do one more layer. Let's see. You do it for celiac. Oh, of course. If someone was like celiac and I would do everything gluten free or, you know, at least maybe one thing that had gluten in it for the majority of people. But if someone's like allergic, I don't know. It's hard. Like, if someone eat, is vegan for uh, a reason. I don't know, like a whole vegan meal though. Like, because our family love seafood and meat so much. You guys know what was on the menu? Imagine. Me saying to my family, oh no, we're going vegan this year, guys. Growing up on a farm, my family, my dad's family would probably laugh. What if it was religious, though? Um, like what I'm saying is, that I like I would never not provide food for them, but I'm saying not the whole meal. Like I would probably half and half. Like, I would make sure that they had an adequate food and things that they enjoyed and they could eat. That's like anyone who had an allergy. Even like, say my, um, my cousin, my cousin's wife is pregnant. So I would make sure that there was, you know, desserts that didn't have alcohol or anything like that for her. You know what I mean? Centerpiece, roast pumpkin. Yeah, something like that. So, we're nearly there. We've run out of liquid. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? This one's gonna be black super strong. All alcohol. someone w decided that they wanted to be vegetarian it's the same thing like say if ash if you come over for dinner i would prepare a a majority of vegetarian food you know as a sign of respect but like if it's every year then i wouldn't also want because my family is so large a lot of them i don't want them to miss out on good food like good meat that they like Community, and thank you for your your lovely words. Hopefully, we might be able to see tomorrow. Happy Christmas Eve! Probably I made this big, a little bit too big because I don't have enough. Well, you're in my house, you eat meat. No, 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 of course I wouldn't say that. You know me. Where are we gonna put some whipped cream on top of this?
that's like if, like the thing is is I don't really know what my parents would say because we didn't really have any anything like that restrictions or like none of my brothers or whatever went vegan or vegetarian. If anyone, it would have been Striker or Cody. Okay, so then that dessert number one, tiramisu, done. Hey boys. Okay. Now we need to do apple crumb. Uh, should we do trifle? Okay, so this is. Do you guys remember when we did a chiffon cake? Remember how I did the chiffon cake for the Japanese theme shrimp? This is the other the uh, the other one. So we made two, and so I thought I'd freeze this one for Christmas time, and now we're going to crumble it over our truffle. So I will admit I'm doing a cheats version. I'm using store bought custard. So I'm a bit lazy. The cake was amazing. So this is vanilla bean custard. I made sure I bought a good brand. It even says premium on the package. Look at that. So this is jelly with some fruit in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this custard. Oh, we might give it a stir actually. Like that. It probably should have been thickened a little bit more, but whatever. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it up the sides a little bit just so it looks like it's got a thicker layer. Can you guys see the layers? Can you see the layers? So what you do, if you wanna make it look like it's thicker, just slide it up the edges. Home brand is a good brand. <coughs> Chester. <coughs> Chess. Chester just looked at something in the backyard and freaked out. So then this is the chiffon cake. So we're just doing... What was that? Something fell over. I think it was the mop. So, sponge cake like that. And this is a lighter sponge cake, so you want to kind of leave it out for a day or two. Custard porn. And so what I want to do is just make it look like I did a really thick layer, but there's not a whole lot there. You know what I mean? So just push it up the sides. And that's it. Looks like there's a whole lot more in there. Just push it down like that. And then all you people are like, oh my god, that's so big. Like, hey, 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 hey. Chess, Rome. Sorry, guys. And then sponge like that. And what should we, our tipple of choice, what should we put in there? Rome, I'm going to beat you. Not really, guys. Guys. Oh, God, I didn't do the... God, I didn't put the... I'm going to have to take the sponge out because I forgot to put the, the peaches. Yeah. Stop barking. <sighs> Sorry guys. Seeds come to get them. He takes them in to the, the office. It's the naughty area. Alright, so I'm gonna take some of this out. Man, scared the shit of me, I'm sorry. The custard's really good by the way. So the most important thing about the trifle is that you see the layers. So what you're going to do is just slide them like this. Down the side. Because then it looks fancier. Even though if it's around the edges, guys, no one will know that there's none in the middle. 
And you always want a nice clean bowl as well. Or use the, the like the sliminess of and of this and then slide it down because then that will kind of clean the side of the bowl. Because then you better see. We kind of need to go like this and put this on like a pedestal. Hold on. See what I can do. Yeah, see? See like that? All about that layers, about that layers. And now you can put it in the middle. Um, I failed at truffles before, can't be too sloppy. Yeah, I definitely feel feely there. And I, that's where I may have failed with the custard, being a bit too sloppy. So I'm going to add some of these, these Savarotti biscuits or whatever, the sponge ones, because they're going to hold their texture. So now you go like this and see, they'll kind of fit its way in. And people will at least be able to see that layer. And then there'll be cream on top. Now you scared me, Ariella. Like I said, my mum makes this usually, so I'm trying to up her with like fresh. It might set a bit in the fridge overnight. That's what I'm hoping. I also didn't want to make a huge amount, but I feel like I've failed at that. Here we go. Like that. The sponge cake's really nice, but it's just a bit too spongy. dilute it if you want. Probably should have done. Getting involved in chat. 
Second Gamer Girl, again, thank you for that follow. I can't believe we hit 3K! Whoop whoop! All right. So now, cream. I did make cream the other day, but not with a whisk or a mixer, and it like curdled. So I don't know if this is cream. I hope it's real cream. Oh my God. I'm here, slightly lurking. That's all good. I'm gonna do the whole thing, because I might use some for this. I'll use some for the tiramisu. And then I don't have to worry about doing it in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna do another mix. Is there anything else that I should add to the tiramisu? I was thinking of putting berries on top. Cheese pizza! Good morning! How you doing? You all ready for your day of work? I'm gonna put a tiny bit of, um, I'll put that in the end actually. Um, all right, I'm gonna whip this. Anything else, I'm gonna put fruit, um, berries on the top. I think that's good, right? Maybe I've got some, I might actually, I've got some um, caramel, some caramel from the butterscotch, like um, white chocolate, my cousin's birthday cake that we made. All right, quick mix. I don't think I was, Regrets. Can you guys see? There's like cream all over me, all over the bench. Major regrets. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I'll put caramel over top. Um, now you just want to put cream over top, like this, to cover. Like that. But what smells? I've got more cream. Gotta plug the hole. 
holes, you know. Chest. So we have layers in here of, I feel like this needs to get lower, hold on. Nah, still needs to get lower, hold on. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. You see? There we go. So we've got layers of jelly, and then we have layer, uh, so layers of jelly with fruit in it. So we've got strawberries, cherries, blackberries, and raspberries. We've got layer of custard, uh, roasted peaches. Then we also have our sponge with some um, spiced rum and then cream. You held up the truffle and said tiramisu. Guys, you know I'm a little bit special sometimes. Miss Molly makes mess, uh-huh. What do you think? Oh, and Katas, did you? I, I saw you ask if we had pavlova. I, my family don't really like pavlova. Um, we've just realised, other than my granddad. So this year we're making, um, what did I say? We're making apple crumble instead because it seems it's though it's a family favourite that no one knew about. So my brother asked for it, and then everyone was like, "Yeah, that's amazing!" So we're making that instead. So in the morning. Um, to give the whipped cream extra structure if it doesn't deflate. I add a little bit of um, icing sugar, a little bit of icing sugar. Um, did you get pasteurized egg? He goes to me, what's pasteurized mean? And I meant the shock. And I was in shock. I, apprentice of chef of two years does not know what pasteurization means. That's hilarious. Most, um, majority of eggs, unless they're like fresh from the farm, are all pasteurized. In Australia, I think. Despite the fact I despise it. Hi! I love this stream. What do you mean? Oh, my username relates to Twitch always recommending me ASMR. No way. That's so funny. Alright. So what do you think? Did we do a good job? I think we did pretty good. Could have been neater. The layers could have been neater. Okay, and now this definitely needs a cream. I don't have a lot of cream left. I feel like whisking a little bit more cream. To go over this tiramisu. I might do it in the morning because it will absorb a lot of liquid and go soft. So then I'll do it in the morning. Will I do it in the morning? Probably not. Oh god, it tastes good though. Alright, a little bit more cream whipping. No, because I have to do it in the morning because of the I do have to do it in the morning, okay? Because I need to do it for the, what's it called? Apple crumble. All right. Goes back on there like that. <laughs> Pasteurized, where the, pasta, uh, where the animal is fed pasta, I told my 30 year old cousin that and she's slow. Oh my gosh. Jamie, that's terrible. You terrible thing. I don't think someone should be able to make thousands of dollars for pseudo licking their microphone. <gasps> that's, a, that's a smart ASMR. We do it like when we're cooking and like, you know, chopping and things like that. Um, but people, people love it. I was trying to explain it to uh, my sister, my mom, mother-in-law and um, yeah, people love it. Uh, tell your hubby to lick the pot. That's the best thing you do. Yeah. Yep, that's the most fun you can have. Look in the pot. Okay. So next thing, I'm just gonna peel. 
I love mic brushing ASMR. Oh, they like they rub your ears and stuff, like the fake ears, like what's her name? I always think um, now because I see her do it so often. Um, what's her name? Um, who does it? You know the very popular streamer. She does it so often now. What's her name? What's her name? Chip. Amaranth, that's it. Amaranth. No, Amaranth. Amaranth? Amaranth? Whatever her name is. I always see her doing it. Like on the front page and stuff. I think I have some eyes. Melissa, I, this is, I always thought it was weird too. Well, what you need to do is put headphones in, turn the light off, and shut your eyes. And it is pretty amazing. Pretty insane. I have to say. Is, like, it can be quite relaxing if they do it right. Yeah, I don't really watch a lot of her content, but I have seen a little bit of ASMR. I like weird. I'm a little bit weird. Everyone's a bit weird in there, anyway. Oh, getting a headache. Too much sugar, not enough water. ASMR is like Vegemite, not everybody likes it, but that's okay. Yep. Definitely. That's a good that's a good analogy. Come on, strip. But some part of people might be doing it wrong as well. ASMR gets me through anxiety. See? Um, I also told her that if she froze boiled water for pasta beforehand. It'd boil faster when she needs it. This is your cousin. Do you know boil, um, hot water freezes faster than cold water? Hey Google, does hot water freeze faster? Here's a summary from the website medium.com. The Mapemba effect is the observation that warm water freezes more quickly than cold water. Another is that warm water evaporates rapidly and since this is an endothermic process, it cools the water making it freeze more quickly. Pretty cool, hey? So, um, there used to be a TV show um, about science. Um, uh, like, I think it was after school. I, don't, I wasn't sure if it was after school. Um, and this guy used to do like science stuff. And I just remember that. Guy with like glasses and like a, you know, the, 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 the very generic science looking guy. That's what he dressed up as, like with a, a lab coat, some pens, and some glasses. Was it Scope? I think so. Scope. I think it was Scope. Bill Nye the Science Guy. It wasn't Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah, Nappy, um, Nappy, King Nappy, uh, tweeted me the other day because, I don't know what day it was, um, it was the summer, winter solstice, so the shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere, and it was also the longest day in, down under. Pretty cool, hey? So it's um, summer solstice is when it's the closest to the the axis is uh, closest to the um, the sun. So the day is very short, whereas it's the longest day in Australia. So I was like, that's why it's so hot. But the, you know, dealing with all the heat. I, oh my god, I remember scope. No, we're Australian. We didn't have Bill Nye. I only knew, I only learned about Bill Nye the Science Guy, like maybe a year ago. I pretty, I like that, um, like branding. Bill Nye the Science Guy, Mr. Wizard. I am, who's Mr. Wizard? That's actually false. There's less oxygen, so it freezes slower, thus preventing warping and clouding. What do you, Jamie? 
You're talking about the hot water again? Vaporize. But this is, oh, sorry, vaporize. I'm so sorry. But this is a tricky one. If a, la um, a lake is frozen and spring is coming, where did the ice melt? The lake is frozen and the spring is coming. Where did the ice melt first? On the top or the bottom? The bottom, because you always see the, the lakes with a little bit of water, like a little bit of ice on top. So I would say they, they, the water at the bottom warms up from the heat of the ground and that heats it from the bottom. And then, um, then on top, it's still frozen because that's why you have thin, um, thin ice, right? Am I right? Because you know how you always, it's the same with like melting chocolate and things. It always melts from underneath and the sides and then the, um, you've got like a, an unmelted bit on top. Ding, ding, ding. She was totally correct. That's very old, like 80s. Okay, the wizard. That's so interesting. Yeah, so it must have been scope. And it was just like fun facts and they would do like science experiments. I, I don't know about you guys, but I also loved Mythbusters. But I never could watch it at home because we didn't have cable TV. Um, only my grandma and my auntie had cable. So I would watch it at their house. Um, once the snow melts off the top of the ice, the ice is exposed to the sun. The ice then acts like a greenhouse to the lake water. And as the sun shines on the ice, it heats the water underneath the ice. And then the ice starts to melt from the bottom. We're touching the water. Yeah. That's why um, never go out in ice in springtime. So interesting. I love you guys teaching me all this cool stuff. Okay, now we've cut, cooked. No, cooked. Uh, no, we haven't. Now we need to. Hold on. English, Molly, slow down. This is what happens when I, I do things too fast. Can't speak. Now we have peeled the apples. We have to cut them and then cook them. So you can do it in multiple ways. You can go straight down like this. And then either cut like that, cut like this. Oh, sorry, like that. Cut them ends off. Uh, my brother rang me. I didn't tell Exceed. My brother rang me to tell me how to make um, apple pie better. Um, apple crumble better. He told me that next time I need to add more cinnamon and more flavor and then make the, the, uh, the top crunchier. Because remember I made it last weekend for my sister. Um, my sister-in-law went to Colombia. So I made it as like a practice. And my brother told me I made it wrong. So now I'm going to add more cinnamon. I didn't add any cinnamon. But I, the, we were talking too much on stream, and then I forgot. I read science books as a nerd. I, I think um, education is so important. If you don't know something, Google it, look it up, and then educate yourself. Because then you can also, like... Uh, you know, understand other people's opinions and different bits of culture. You know. You're not dumb, Vaporize. Don't say that about yourself. Goodness me. You are not dumb at all. You're smart enough to turn on a computer. You're smart enough to, to type. You're not dumb. Don't ever put yourself down. You know, you 
can breathe, you can look after yourself. I know sometimes that we put ourselves down like that, I do it as well. But we need to lift ourselves up, be positive. And the most important thing is not to compare. If somebody knows it and you don't, now you do because I told you. And you might know, you may be more knowledgeable in some other area that you're more passionate about in your hobby. You know, if you ask me about quantum physics, I would have no idea. If you ask me about varieties of apples and what's the best to make it like a pie with or cook with, then I can tell you. Or you could ask me about other things to do with cooking or nursing, ask me about the human body and I could do that. You know, we're all special in our different ways. And we're all knowledgeable and we're all very intelligent. Mum mode, deactivated. Best apple for an apple pizza? Well, it depends what you're trying to use it for. If you want to do an apple pizza, you want something that's sweet. Um, I would like a, a pink lady, because it's still got, it's quite, um, uh, got some nice texture. But then, see, a Granny Smith is really good for baking. It's a little bit more tart, and it works really well with desserts, because it, it's not too sweet. It, it's got the nice um, crisp texture. Uh, and then it also counteracts the tart to the sweet of like most baking. So that's why it's used quite often. So Pink Lady is, is like a red apple. And I prefer a crispier apple. Some people like a, a flowery apple. Um, it's all personal preference. But for me, my go-to are Granny Smith or a Pink Lady. How, how does that do? What do you think? Cheese pizza? What do you like? An apple pizza. Do you know what's a really good pizza that you should make? Pulled pork uh, and slaw. So it's um, pulled pork with, I think it's got barbecue seasoning. Um, beautiful smoky pulled pork with coleslaw and then apple slices. Oh no, sorry, pear. Pear slices. Pink ladies. Say if you were doing a dessert pizza, Pink Lady's your girl. Alright. So I'm just trying to get all of these little... Because this bit here... Whoop, see that bit there? In the middle, the part of the core. That's like... It doesn't break down and it, it, like it hurts your mouth. Take it out. Do yourself a favor. Take it out. Pulled pork pizza before one of my faves. So there is one. My favorite pizza is pulled pork and slaw from a company called Crust. But I think you could do a better job. I, I'm very amazed at your pizza. Snake in the ninja. There's a ninja in chat. See, someone the other, like Mino was joking around about a, min, um, uh, a ninja raid. And the only care, ninja raid that I care about is a snake and raid. Just like that. Come on in with those mmms. It's the only ninja that I would ever care about. Will you sell chocolate pizza? I have had um, a chocolate pizza once from a company here in Perth. Um, and it was like a chocolate cake base. Oh, a chocolate brownie cake base, and then it had um, cherries through it, and um, ice cream. It was a bit too rich for me. I'm not a fan of coleslaw, so I'm not sure I'd delve into that aspect. Yeah, it just, it's like the, the cabbage just goes crunchy, um, and it's nice, like, texture. It's not full, like, not fully coleslaw, it's more like just slaw. I've eaten the most ultimate pizza, volcano pizza. <laughs> what is that? That sounds interesting. Um, see if it's chemistry, then you boil water and make a cup of tea and add sugar and milk. I don't do sugar, but I do milk. Has to have milk. 
Hasta la vista, baby. All right. So I'm going to boil this up with some water and a little bit of sugar. I have to add cinnamon because I'll get ups a brother, upset brother. I'm going to put nutmeg in there too, just and some ginger. too expensive for me. white sugar or a mixture of both. cinnamon she says I bet that's enough now brother <laughs> the calcium in milk neutralizes 90% of the nutritional value of tea oh wow so brown sugar tea with milk essentially no benefits wow we that's interesting crunchy enough. So that's why we're going to add extra butter to make it go crunchy. Then there's no complaints. Okay, now we need our feeling of very beneficial. I agree with that skip. Merry Molly Christmas! Merry Christmas skip! I hope Santa comes to my house, but I'm a bit too old for Santa. Alright, so that's nutmeg, ginger, and now cinnamon. cinnamon so I'm gonna give him cinnamon and what you would do 
is like sift this if you wanted to so that the brown sugar breaks up before you add the um, oats. Break up that. There we go. Look at that. I think we need to add more flour, to be honest. And the brown sugars have had that beautiful brown colour. Mm. All right, Jamu. I love tea, and I don't want to know that I'm putting on weight when I add tea. I just want to enjoy the the calming, cooling effects of it, and the the love that it gives me in my heart. I love your logic, but sometimes, sometimes I just want to enjoy my drink. And you'll see the most perfect pizza. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's have a look here. Oh, what? What? Where did you get that from? I want to recreate that. That sounds, that looks amazing. Do you reckon we could do it, everybody? Would you like to see Molly do that? What do you think? Can we do that? I think we could do that. Look at it. So you've got like, what is the one at the bottom? I don't know, it's something black. And then you've got pepperoni pizza, you've got bacon on pizza. Then the inside you've got salad and chips. Guys, I think we can do that. in there and she said Google add flour to the shopping list. Oh you guys know me too well. I actually came prepared. I have another one. Hold on. It's all favorite pizza in one. Where are we? What was the, the one at the bottom? Let's do it! Let's do it, Ariella! So that is our crumble mix. He wanted it buttery, so he got buttery. Mmm, you know I didn't put in there sugar. Did I? No, I didn't. Did I put sugar in there? Yeah, I did. I did. I already put sugar in there. Oh my god. Stephonic is streaming tomorrow with Belgor. Stephonic. Chef Belgor is in the bad books with Molly. He, he doesn't answer my calls. He doesn't ring me back. He said he was going to be on stream. He's in the bad books. I've been giving him some chances and I actually sent, like, sent him a voicemail today and I was like quite angry. And I said to him, you know, you were supposed to doing. You were supposed to be on stream more often, and you screwed me over. I said you were supposed to be cooking uh, Christmas lunch with me, and you screwed me over there. I said, can you please bloody ring me back? This was after I rang him yesterday and Saturday. So over the, the weekend, I at least called him about ten times, and he didn't ring me back at all. And then I rang him three times today, and then I felt bad for like giving him like a a bit of a an angry message, then I rang him back and still didn't answer, so I was going to apologise, but I was going to ask him if he wanted me to take him shopping today to get some clothes for Christmas, so that he could like look and feel nice, um, and like I was just a bit angry, it's sad, you know, because I, I like, Red Dead 2, two has taken his life, he's finished that. He needs a haircut. Devonic. He does need a haircut. 
and I just didn't want him to come to Christmas tomorrow and then people, like my family, give him a hard time about like him working so much or playing games or something and like not having a haircut, not having any clothes, things like that. So I wanted to, to do something for him and like look after him and like, you know, maybe just have like a, a fun day together and just didn't answer. So it's just a bit hard. He made the bad list. Sibling love, that's it. Definitely. I mean, him and I get on, like, out of all my, like, him, all of my siblings only have another one. But, like, Belgore and I get on really well. And so that's why I was a little bit hurt, you know? Alright. Apple's cooking nicely. We've got our crumbles. Another fun fact, unless you are electronic deficiency, you should really drink... j this is this is the one of the things that it's it's like I understand people can do you know it's one of my little pet peeves people that drink Gatorade and um, and Powerade when like unless you've been sweating unless you like have physically need it, it it's like drinking liquid sugar and stuff you have a big heart molly Like, just make, I just, I don't even know if the shop's open. Like, I would go to the shops now. If, he, if I knew that he would want to go with me, then I would, like, ring him. Like, I'd go to the shops with him tonight. Just so that, like, it breaks my heart when, like, my grandma makes a comment. It's like, she might, like, she'd do it to me as well. Like, oh, you've got things on your clothes. You know how, like, your grandparents do and things like that? I know, I sound like that. Um, I don't know if I should know this, but who's Chef Belgore? He's my brother, my big brother. I think you've seen him before, Bina, I'm pretty sure. Daphonic, if you can get a hold of him, let me know. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. Oh shit, I need to sneeze. Um, what did we decide to do the apple crumble in? Oh, these things. My nana slapped my sister's ass the other day and told her to lose some weight. Oh my god. My grandma would do that. My grandma would do that. I'd probably not slap it, but she would just say something. She would definitely say something. You know, it's their generation. It doesn't excuse it, but you just gotta understand that like their generation was one, a lot less overweight than our generation. Um, and they were more direct and uh, they felt that they could give their opinion. Oh, here we go. Uh, Molly is a favourite person of mine. She's a nurse like my mum was and she's awesome. Oh, skip. That's sweet. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Let's see, let's do a warhead. Thank you, Melissa, for reminding me. Cats are superior to dogs. No, Jamie, you're not gonna win there. Let's save her for it's Christmas time. Oh, Bina, thank you. Six since it's Christmas. Melissa goes into two. All right, so you guys are very sweet. One, two, three, four, five, or six, everybody. Oh, I just spooned this apple into the tar, the tin. I feel like I didn't do enough apples. I feel like I didn't do enough of this. Nappy, I've been creeping. I've been creeping. One, two, three, four, five, or six, Nappy. One. Uh, guys, 
I always forget. It's watermelon, lemon, or apple. Watermelon, lemon, or apple. Except you can wipe it clean if you can. Just pick six and then do it again. But I, I don't know if I want it, like, six is winning. Just saying. Take a piece of chocolate and said, Bina, you're so sweet. Bina, what's your favorite type of German chocolate? Is German chocolate good? Or would you prefer any other European chocolate? You want me to recast the vote? No, nah. Let's just see what else people come up to. I feel like there's a lot of sixes in chat. One, two, three, four, five, or six, everybody. Yeah, I feel like I haven't cut enough apples. I'm gonna have to redo this again, make more. Oh man, I'm gonna be peeling again. No fair. What is everyone's game of the year? Oh, game of God of War sucked. That's the worst game. And Red Dead as well. They're like poo poo. You know what I'm gonna say? The, the game of the year? Atlas. Atlas is, comes in last minute. Six, love you guys. 75% guys, usually I would like, I would go like with one of the other ones, but the people have chosen, exceed six. What do you mean? What do you mean God of War? God of War or Smash? What about Atlas? It's doing so well. Guys, have you seen all the, the beautiful, beautiful positive reviews out there? Chester got let outside. Oh my god. Exceed. Swedes chocolate is amazing. Swedish chocolate. Mm. I find. What? Lint? Lint chocolate? Is that Swiss? Or is that Swedish? Where's lint from? I find that too oily. I think I like Belgian chocolate best. Is that all the apples that I've bought? Oh hell no. Oh god. Chipotle. Pomegranate. We've got two pomegranates. Oh god. Oh, one apple. Yes. Pomegranate. I've got one apple left. Man. No one is Dark Souls Remastered. Did they come out this year? I think Red Dead should win. Hey, Belgor. Belgor. Fancy you coming in here after good old mate, Belgor. Are you going to reply to my message? I'm wrapping presents with you, Molly. Yeah. Do I've heard. Well, yes. Guess what? Do you want to talk? Do you want to ring me later? In the chat. Go go. Um. Well, I heard what you said. I just that's my thoughts. Like like my like the best intentions. Or maybe. Okay, you decide. A wild Belgor appears. Um, what are they getting? Yeah. Been a lint sale in German recently and it was a bit of a chocolate overkill. Really? Oh my gosh. You spelled over pride wrong. Hope this bashing stops though. What bashing? I wasn't bashing you. I was just saying I was frustrated at you. I'm on Team Belgo. I've had a mate over from Melbourne. Okay. I wasn't verbally bashing you. I was saying that I was trying to be supportive. Duplo box are like jumbo Tetris, right? It was no game. Um, I hope 
Yeah, I hope you're being sarcastic about Atlas. Of course I'm being sarcastic about Atlas. Like all it exceeded was like, we're not gonna touch that with a, like a five foot pole. I know and I love you for it. Merry Christmas, Belgore says Skip. Um, shit. Um, Belgore, you got any apples? I'm gonna bring some apples over my house tomorrow. I have one left. I thought, I thought five would be enough, but that, it's not a lot of. Best episode ever. It's got drama, it's got suspense, it's got cooking. Bop-ba-ram! Daphonic. Daphonic, Daphonic. When are you moving to Perth? Jack Straws? I just missed my map. She was saying she was being supported verbally. Chester! Does anyone have apples they want to send bring me over tomorrow? Afro Rob, Belvoir, I missed you. Okay. Alright, we can't make the rest of the crumble. Hopefully someone in my family has got apples. Because the shops aren't open tomorrow. You reckon they'll be open now? It's 8 o'clock. Better go to bed. Um, I mean... Okay. I feel like I've missed something that I'm supposed to be doing tonight. I think it was just the desserts. Oh, I'm supposed to be marinating meat. We can do that tomorrow. I'm um, tomorrow morning, it's fine. It's all good. Crumble, trifle, done. Guess what, everybody? Santa's coming! Gotta hit the hay and cuddle the cat. Good night, J-Mood. Merry Christmas. Hope you have an amazing sleep and a Merry Christmas and hopefully we can see you tomorrow. Ah, oh, so exciting. Some places are open till nine. Ash, not in WA. Nothing's open past five in WA. But, 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 the overnight marinade. There's just no room because it's it's like it's it's wrapped. And if I marinate it, I have to put it in like a tray. And there's no room in the fridge. I'll be back on soon. Belgo says when work slows down. Hey, Belgo, did you see we hit 3k? 3k followers. So, <clears throat> I don't have a vacuum. I'd love to get a vacuum so we can do sous vide. That would be the coolest thing ever. There's so many things that I want. So many things. Bye, Exceed. Sorry for the lack of pause. Thank you. Alright, guys. But well, look at the trifle that no one really likes, but the tiramisu is better. Look at my tiramisu. My tiramisu is okay. Not great, but okay. I'm a bit sad about it. Crumble, tiramisu, apple to be crumbled. Can't be worse than mum's. <laughs> See, but Mandy thinks I said it. I don't like mum's either, but Mandy and everybody else in the family thinks that mum's is the best, and they tell her that, so she thinks it. Cold. Freaking love truffle. See, I did this differently this time because I did a layer of jelly and then I did the custard, whereas my mum would soak the sponge in the jelly. She's weird like that. But we'll find out what happens tomorrow on another episode of Miss Marley Makes. But guys, what is your favorite tiramisu? So coffee and um, what else do we add in there? Coffee and hazelnut liqueur. Trifle, so layers of... Um, what have we got in there? Layers of jelly, fruit, custard, roasted peaches, um, sponge cake with rum, spiced rum and cream. Or we also have in there 
our apple with our oats and crumble, so it's oats, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, um, ginger as well, a little bit of flour and butter, so then it's going to be baked and go extra crunchy. What would you guys like to eat? Tiramisu, coffee, Ixie, uh, Belleville, what would you like? What time am I coming over tomorrow? 11.30, Ixie, says. I'm gonna make some crepe. I'm gonna make crepes. For, for dessert. Remember you have to bring $40 cash, Belleville. You like to eat all of it? Mmm, craps. No, don't talk about his crepes. This is dessert. Don't let him jack my 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 Christmas. He brings crepes. And don't let him hijack my stream. What would you guys like to eat out of my food? Forty dollars, yeah, because that's because you owe me some money. Um, but like lunch, you pay for lunch. You are you a loan shark? No, because you still owe me money, buddy. Sibling rivalry going on right now. You owe me money. Ten dollars from last. I know. I'm gonna make it. Actually, I'm gonna make it forty-four, forty-five, because it's thirty-five for lunch, and then ten dollars from the last game tonight. Back to the cooking, folks. So I just need to get more apples. I have one apple here. One apple, and then what we'll do is um, I'll ring my mum tomorrow and see if she's got more, and I'll chop them up and put it on top. If not, the crumble can go on there and bake it. I'm calling mum to front me. <laughs> Tiramisu Diphonic. Layers of sponge cake dipped in coffee and coffee liqueur and hazelnut liqueur with layers of mascarpone um, and egg mixture. And then other like layers, so it's got three layers of sponge in there with your mascarpone. And then we're gonna put a layer of cream on top. Run away, she keeps increasing. Oh my god. Alright ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. So, t uh, tomorrow is Christmas. So we will be streaming tomorrow morning when we wake up. Uh, after we wake up, um, probably when we're making breakfast. No, after breakfast when we're cooking and preparing the um, rest of the stream. Um, sorry, the rest of the, the food. I'll be making the turkey, um, showing you like just chatting. It'll be a really relaxed stream. Um, telling you guys what Santa bought um, and what Santa bought exceed more importantly and then we'll be preparing the meat and just hanging out for Christmas morning wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and 13 hours guys we'll be live in 13 hours the day after Christmas um, so on Christmas Day if you're in the US will be Boxing Day for us or um, exceeds birthday we're gonna make him a cheesecake and we've got ice cream in the fridge, so we're going to make an ice cream bread. It's something that I saw in another stream and I thought I needed to try it out. Um, are you going to stream when Belgore comes over? If he comes over earlier, Belgore, if you want to come over earlier, you can stream with us and get ready here. Daphonic, don't be nasty. But we aren't allowed to stream when the family come, so we're going to strict instructions. Alright. Uh, we are going to jump over and we are going to raid. Exceed, you're going to... We're going to raid Battle Mick. So he is another Australian streamer um, from the ANZ Grassroots program that we're in. We just want to jump over there. We want to show you guys off uh, and then also give him some love. Merry Christmas. Uh, I appreciate you guys using those emotes and those mmms in his chat. Saying love, Merry Christmas from the Molly fam. Uh, guys, I hope you have a Merry Christmas if we don't see you in the next few days. Uh, sending all of our love to your friends and your family. Stay safe, be well, um, and enjoy the Christmas time. I know it's a hard time for a lot of you, but I'm sending my love. And we'll be live, so come and hang out with us, and we'll have a good time together, okay? See ya. I am.
damn Jesus Christ, man. 